This would be like somewhere near downtown. There's a lot of abandoned buildings there that look like this, that have the facade, have all the ornate, intricate details. The idea was is like you would take one of those buildings and make it livable. You know, or maybe just an old factory building or an old warehouse. A lot of artists do do that, yeah. like especially in Edo. Um, so, because it takes, it's cheap, it takes less building materials to convert it. You can live in it and it looks cool. And, you know, urban sprawl, like I mentioned, is an issue because Houston isn't very populous, but it's very wide. It just cuts into the Texas countryside. It doesn't look very nice when it does that. And a lot of the urban sprawl is unplanned. So this was the idea that I kind of had. And I always wanted to live in the city and have a nice house like that. Yeah. <laughs> I like this little right yeah, yeah, the side. Yeah, that was great. She made me draw it. So the point of this project was to create a sustainable home that would reuse recycled materials and that would last for a longer time in order to uh, reduce the amount of materials used to replace uh, the existing building or structure. As you can see, it was split into three main areas, of course the master bed and living area, the common area, which includes an outdoor uh, main living room, and once again another um, sleeping area for guests or children. So I created a main living room outdoors because I believe it's important for buildings to connect those within to the outside. And not only that, but it allows more light in, which reduces energy that is to be used through uh, lighting. Um, on top, I placed some solar panels because another thing to think about with sustainability is the use of energy within a home. And <clears throat> you can't really see too well, but I made gutters that lead down to a uh, collection bucket. Uh, I used to live in Austin, and a very big thing there was the use of not only solar panels, but of uh, reusing water. Um, and so I thought bringing that to here Houston, we could not only use older shipping crates, but we could use elements from architecture in Austin maybe to improve uh, water usage as well as energy usage. And so, as you can see, there are very large windows. Those not only help lighting get in, but those also help with heating since sunlight can get in during the uh, colder periods, which I guess there aren't many in Houston, uh, it'll allow for less ventilation, or less heating, and less energy to go into heating. And so then I also created a living green roof. Those help during the summer months and capturing some of the sunlight and transferring it into um, organic material instead of heat. These are shipping crates, and so if the sun were just to directly hit them, they would uh, conduct that heat and make the building uncomfortably hot. And so the solar panels along with the living room roof were an important element in this uh, building. And then um, it's small. As you can see, there's only three shipping crates used. Um, the <clears throat> point of this is to create a smaller living area so that more people can live in a, um, I guess, in a given area. Um, not only that, but it is based around a U-type uh, form. This allows for privacy. As you can see, most of the windows are on the inside so that um, while it is smaller and while there is a... Uh, it's smaller. It still allows for privacy because people can't see in from the outer part. And uh, that's my dream home.
you recently while I was in Chicago. Um, uh, I was uh, at the Sears Tower, what is now known as the Wills Tower, looking down on the city and all you see is, uh, you know, an urban jungle, uh, basically rooftops that aren't being utilized as they should. So I have an idea that uh, there should be some sort of uh, requirement that, you know, you should utilize rooftops to be uh, an urban garden um, in the city limits. So anyway, so I also have this idea that uh, my ideal home would be all farm materials. So uh, like Sarah mentioned today, a shipping container, because we live in Houston and there's so many shipping containers available. Um, there's a lot of glass that you can find. Um, I know for one that there's a lot of uh, stained glass that you can find. Um, and just found wood and metals and material like that. So this is just kind of all of that together.